Hey guys, it's me, Phoenix. We are here to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. We're going to pull from this deck and also the who's deck. I haven't pulled this in over a year, I want to say, um, or close to a year. We're going to pull the who's deck to see who... You've been dealing with these cards fell down. Oh, wait, let me put them the way they fell. Hold on. They fell down like that. Bottom of the deck is a foreigner. Somebody that you thought, you know, maybe lives in a, a distance from you or is acting real distant from you, if that makes sense. And then we're going to pull from the uh, Destin Love Oracle deck. Uh, I can't remember the name of the person who bought this or where, who made this deck. But the Who's deck, I'm not sure either. But there you have it. Let's see. Get some energies here you guys i can't stress enough to please like share subscribe and hit the bell notification forgiveness somebody wants you to forgive them based upon their toxicity um yeah that they feel like they're a life partner to you um so let's let's go ahead and lay this all out here you guys bear with me as i try to get my desk together Suddenly, unexpected affection and longing. So longing came out in the last read that I did um, when it came to uh, dealing with, uh, it was chemistry and longing right next to each other. But this is a totally different deck. So that just lets you know that uh, something similar or maybe, and it was a lot of air energy on the board. Clarity, clarity was there as well. But this is something that had to happen. The type of person that you were dealing with uh, was very toxic, and now they want you to forgive them because in the last uh, reading, uh, which is called uh, You Are Their True Love, they uh, felt like you were the one that um, kind of got away in some instances and in that they realized they screwed up. We have a small build, so you could be dealing with somebody with a small build. It says self-pity, indecisive, over-emotional, and codependent. Codependent was out there. Family was out there as well. This is the same type of energies. Aries is here. Aries is um, could be somebody that has stability or could be somebody that, um, you know, Aries type energy. They are, um, I'm trying to think who I could say that's an Aries uh, um, in the, that we can all relate to. And I'm going to have to look that up. But who can we, who we can all relate to that has this demeanor um, same sex, so it could be same sex energy, have things in common. This could be that you have things. So same Z, if you remember the last deck that I have, it it's uh what is it? The truth tarot, I think it is. Hold on. The honest. Let me make sure. Uh, okay, the honest love tarot. Um, same Z's mean everything is could could be same. You guys can mimic each other. Doesn't have to have to be same sex, but you could be masculine energy. They could be masculine energy. You could be feminine energy. They could be feminine energy. But it doesn't mean that it's the actual um, uh, uh, male or female. But it just could be the energies that you guys uh, reflect towards. And it's same Z. But anyway, it says self pity, indecisive, overly emotionally, uh, over, overly emotional, codependent. This is like moon energy. Um, and then it could be uh, toxicity, overly controlling, harsh criticism, physical or mental abuse, family energy, and then responsible Aries energy, responsible, dynamic, charming, born leader, naive, sexy, but very quick tempered and can get childish, impatient, arrogant when out of balance. So the type of person that you could be dealing with is somebody that, again, last read, and I don't want to uh, go back and forth, but it was a toxic energy that somebody really realized that it was them and not you, and now they wanted to swing the block, and so you guys mimic each other, except, you know, you don't act different every time you come around. You try to deal with certain issues or wait for a person to say exactly what they did in the past, and the clarity is is that they won't, and you have to do this for yourself and move forward for yourself because at some point, this person has to grow up, and you're not the one to help them grow up. You have to move your energy in order for you to grow up out of this situation and get into a situation to where you can grow and build. And so I'm going to clarify forgiveness. Let's clarify forgiveness. The cards have been acting like they don't want to come out this whole day. Um, I've been doing personal reads, so uh, it's just been 
kind of busy for me. Forgiveness, high priestess energy. Um, they expect for you to use your intuition, which you have in the past, right? Um, they expect for you to use your intuition to forgive them, to understand who they are, to understand what they've been through, and for you to listen to their ins your instincts. But you're too old for that now. They're too old for that. And so for toxicity, um, you they want you to be really to understand why they're toxic, even though you already know Ten of Swords energy. Okay, so the Ten of Swords energy just lets you know that, you know, it's it's painful for them. Their, their, their toxicity is painful for them to deal with. Um, and it's basically like deep wounds that they have. And you already knew that. Um, they realize that they're your life partner. But again, you don't, you shouldn't have to just constantly keep accepting the stuff. Okay, a card fell on the floor. Hold on. And it's a card that's turned over, if you see that. I don't know if that turned over. So I put that, yeah, Page of Pentacles. That came out in the last read. They have to do the work. You have to do the work. Let me put this card. Strength, yeah. So they want you to take your strength that you had to endure over the years and be able to um, be their life partner and settle for the things that they expect you to know. And, um, again, without having clarity, again, the Wheel of Fortune came out in the last read. The Wheel of Fortune basically is like ebb and flows. Everything just keeps going round and around. Them coming back and forth, acting like nothing ever happened because of the tox uh, the, because of the chemistry that you have. And they expect for you to forgive them. The Page of Pentacles is do the work. Page of Pentacles says never stop learning. Um, if you think you know everything, you know nothing at all, you have to keep continuously doing the work and uh learning and learning and learning about every time this person comes back around but they have to actually learn from their downfalls as well settling here and so once they realize that they're toxic are they gonna try to fix it no they're gonna want you to help them fix it or to be patient with them six of wands energy settling brings um and you know six of wands is success but um at the same point you finally this is um you finally have their head on a <laughs> on a chopping block. And I think I said that some ways in, in my last read, but not having it on a chop, chopping block, but you have success because now this person wants to tell you what it is that they're going through and why it is that you should settle. Now they're going to open up and that's going to be unexpected for you. Does that make sense? And so you have to decide if this is the type of energy that you want to be around or if you want to deal with because anyway you've been growing you've been growing you understand you've been using your intuition to deal with this person this whole time uh pinnacles energy we we have the page of pinnacles but we don't have the years out here yet so unexpected here unexpected comes unsure of the king of swords so here's the thing when it the unexpected is you're worried about how they're handling things moving forward. So at some point they can, uh, be, you know, it's like be a misuse of power or, um, you know, another point they can have clarity and understand what it is uh, and be willing to lead. Aries energy is a leader, but you're unsure about that because uh, this is unexpected for them to try to say, look, we're, we're, we're the same. I think we should do this and I think we should do that. Let's clarify the king of swords comes out yeah so a lot of the cards come out with the king of swords look who's on the bottom of the deck and i'm not finished with the deck but the chariot shows shows their face look and which is our energy so the chariot is somebody who is able to conquer a lot but at some point you're tired of conquering things and you just want to have you know the same energy around you and that's the hard part about it so if the king of swords is you know being blunt and that that's what came out is that um somebody who was very blunt or somebody who was very rude and um, basically the empress didn't see the beauty in you. Um, the be the empress energy is also creating. You had to learn to create your own based upon the consequences of their actions and your own actions because you accept this person for who they are, but at that same point, you don't set boundaries. So justice energy is you doing the right thing and that's what you had to do. So the unexpected or now they feel like they have to do it I believe you did the right thing by you moving forward and the sun energy, and that's called growth. Growth is even though you have this big attraction, you want a family with this person, you have to do things to make stuff, make things right, and that's locking your doors, and that's not, um, you know, going with the flow. Four of Pentacles energy is pulling back your energy, but this is you also controlling the things that you do, controlling the narrative and securing yourself because at some point this energy makes you feel insecure. And there's a lot of conflict, five of wands energy. There's a lot of conflict within your own home. And that's the thing that, and it doesn't mean that, it doesn't mean that uh, you guys live together. It just means that the distance between you is because, you know, 
you had to grow. You had to grow. And the contemplation is if you should try to do uh, what they want or again for the however many times. And it's fine. It's totally up to you. That's why I say when you're part, send strength and healing because who knows that energy, if it's meant for you, it's meant for you. And if it's not, it's just not. And so the thing is, is as, as, as much affection as you have, have for a person, if they're not willing to grow, um, or to be responsible or to understand that they're the toxic one and they have to be uh, able to let go and they just want your codependency, meaning that for you to take care of them, then that's when you have to not look at the affection and how much you're longing for them. Ace of Swords, have clarity, right? Have clarity about the affection and why it causes you to make certain decisions and why you're longing and look at why those energies come out. Unsure energy of the King of Pentacles, and why why you feel like this person may or may not be a true leader. King of Pentacles energy says um, there's no reward without risk. Create opportunities. Don't be afraid to fail and invest your time wisely. Well, the King of Pent Pentacles have to have, uh, um, what is it, discipline. They have to have discipline. They have to have leadership. But also they could be stubborn and um, obsessed with wealth. That could be the only thing that really guides them to a, a space of, uh, of, of longing. So you could be longing for a relationship or for a family. They could be longing for more money. And that's the reason why they feel like you, you, the codependent energy, can constantly fund and constantly fund them emotionally, mentally, and physically, even though they have their own stuff and they're stable. And so the clarity comes what, that this distance is not what you want. I'm going to clarify this King of Pentacles because it's unsure of what it is and why you're unsure of why you're longing for them. You're not more unsure energy. Uh, three of Cups, this came out the same way last reading. The Three of Cups energy is like either you are, you've been, you spend so much time alone or that this is, um, this caused lots of collaboration. But anyway, it go, you're longing for this family and not just collaborations with other people. You want it uh, and you want this person to lead. And therefore, that's where you're contemplating. Can this person do this? Is this person able to have some type of, um, leadership skills or discipline um, and be able to um, when it comes to uh, collaborating or having a relationship or some type of friendship are they able to do that let's clarify that the three of pentacles and the king of pentacles because it's unsure um, the eight of cups comes here you walked away the eight of cups comes when when why is why you walked away eight of cups says you have to walk away from the things that no longer serve you so you look back and you're like i'm looking back but you know they say don't look back in the past but i have to walk away right now i'll go ahead and take these cards because they did fall over all of them in the reverse the moon is in the reverse wow so the moon being in the reverse is just like this is confusion this is a, a release of fear. You had to release your fears and walk away because of the fact that you're unhappy and also the Knight of Wands energy, your Drake energy. You don't feel the need to, um, what is it called? You don't feel the need to, to, to uh, that, that you're living. It's just more so angry energy. And so you're longing, but you're angry at the same time. The Four Swords in the reverse is just letting you know that when it comes to this situation, you're burnt out. You reach this plateau. You're exhausted. That's why you pull back your energy with the four of pentacles being here and also the queen of swords. Oh, boy. And see, this is the thing. Um, and what I was explaining is that um, in the last read is that the battle with Chris Brown and, and Quavo right now. Chris Brown has been trying his hardest to be quiet, to be humble, you know, because of his past energies, the things that, you know, he he's he's trying to focus on what he's passionate about, you know, uh, Yes, him and Rihanna didn't work out. Him and Karuchi didn't work out. He's trying to, whatever he's doing. But at the same time, he's staying away from people so people don't push his buttons. And this is a true form of a cancer, even though he's not a cancer. It's a true display of what a cancer can do to a person. They can tear you down in a drop of a dime. And they can, you know, they're not going to pull anybody else's energy, but they're going to speak straight facts to you and break it down bad enough to where you you're humbled it's not too much that you can say or do and that's basically what the queen of swords in the reverse is the queen of swords in reverse is stand up for yourself always speak your mind and not take shit from anyone but this is somebody who doesn't judge you who sets clear who sets clear clear boundaries but is very direct but when this person is in the reverse they're they're emotional 
their, you know, cold hearted and easily influenced of the crowd, meaning that everything that you've done, you know, it's like basically, boom, move out the way. You won't smoke with C, you know, meaning cancer or Chris, you know what I mean? And that's the thing. So if you know, you know, but the four cups energy, the four cups energy, what it is, is that he displayed what real beef is, you know what I mean? To say, but the four cups in the reverse is retreat, withdraw, and checking in for alignment. You're trying to realign yourself and not be angry at yourself in the situation. Will of Fortune did come in the last read in the reverse. So you're trying to not be angry and look at things from a negative perspective and get out of control because you know that that's what it is that can happen. Let's clarify all of these cards. And then we're going to clarify contemplation because, again, yeah, see, the Eight of Pentacles energy, you've done the work. You've done the work and you you focused and understood what the past energy brought to you of you just, you know, actually letting everything build up. So small build could be, you know, a person, but it could be you letting everything build up and then boom, when you just really feel like people are taking your kindness for a weakness and you start having clarity about it, about the distance and the patience that you had, then you start doing the work for yourself. And that sometimes means pulling your energy back and really just reflecting on the past getting out of the past uh, energies of allowing people to, you know, basically um, take take advantage of your innocence. Does that make sense? And so that's where the longing is at, you know, you've done the, you're doing the work, you've done the work. And when it comes to the contemplation being here is what we're going to clarify next. You're contemplating on if should I stay or should I go page of wands energy, death energy. And this came out in the, this was the first, card that came out and this is much needed change the death energy death energy says um embrace change and let go of what no longer serves you death isn't the end it's a transformation that brings new beginnings and this was the first card that was out when it came to if you should do certain things so the clarity the compliment com contemplation and the distance meaning change needs to happen but contemplating uh basically knight of swords somebody has to do the work you know, the Knight of Swords energy is somebody who is ambi ambitious and, you know, uh, very goal oriented, but also fast thinking. And so contemplating in certain energies when it comes to Page of Wands energies being here, you have to really understand that this is something that you need to do the work for. And you have to live in the present moment, not in the past. So you've learned from the past, Six of Swords energy and the Eight of Pentacles energy. You learned how the past has caused you to feel kind of gullible at certain point. And now you're quick with decision making, but also Page of Wands energy. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow's a mystery. The only thing that's real is the present moment. You cannot reflect on the past or you cannot. So the past causes fear and the future causes anxiety. You cannot have anxiety over the future and um, be fearful of the past. You have to learn from it. So again, O Rafiki says you either run from it or you learn from it. You have to learn to learn from the past. And that's the clarity that change made for you to happen, especially when it comes to people that are at a distance for you and how you need to either forgive them and move forward, forgive them and feel like you're settling. Because if you feel like you're settling, you're still in the past. And if you feel like you can't forgive them, that's still past energy. And if you feel like you're suddenly and you can't forgive them because you're worried about the future, that's living in the future and not in the present moment. You take things day by day, minute by minute, hour by hour. And that's the best way to let your magic blossom. <laughs> you see my sign over there? Um, yeah. And so that is kind of how I see that energy. Um, if this makes sense, you know, just let me know in the comments. You guys talk to me. I talk back and I still read every comment that comes through. Um, if I can see it, um, I'll read it. And yeah, you guys talk to me. I talk back. You guys do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Um, I'm going to, <clears throat> I'm going to pull from, I'll pull from the breakup Oracle, even though I don't want to, I will hold on. Let me find it. Um, yeah, I'll pull from the breakup Oracle. What did I do with it? Hmm. Let's see. I want to pull from another another uh, tarot. De I mean, another deck too. So uh, that's the reason why I'm looking at what it is that I want to pull from because I know that the Breakup Oracle is one one of the uh, card decks that I want to pull from. But also, um, I want to pull from 
it's the honest truth uh but it's over here so let me let me go ahead and get that and then i'll pull since the ascended life is right here in my hand uh where i moved it looking for the breakup oracle then i'll pull from that and then we'll pull from the crystal deck and then we'll pull from the four agreements and um if you want to know what the four agreements or the chakras are i'll put the links up above hold on one second let me get this card back okay so yeah i'll pull from the ascended life oracle now this is like an honest truth or the uh, messages of the truth i'm not sure to see what comes out i bet i best it's best i maintain a distance between you and i i'll continue to watch you from a distance and that could be your energy um that came out i'm ready to embrace the changes that will take place if i date you so that could be your energy that could be their energy but the change is needed and they're ready to make the change so maybe that's what i'll name this they're ready to make the change but um you have to understand that you can't just uh you can't dwell on the past or on the future not knowing what it'll be but um you can learn from it and you can also take baby steps and that's all i'm saying and if this isn't for you then it's just not for you and that's fine but if you learned something from the past thank them no man is your enemy no man is your friend yeah, somebody is ready to relocate and happiness. They're really ready to relocate from that distance energy or come together because of the past. And they realize that the past caused more happiness than anything. Um, so we have fluid fluidity. We have crossroads. Yeah, this person is at a crossroads. We have woman with a divine feminine, somebody who met whom who and define feminine feminine was in the last reading and relocate they're willing to relocate to come closer either to your energy or to your home uh, fluidity says stand flexible and adaptable keeping an open mind going with the flow and being teachable they're they're willing to be teachable and to go with the flow like you water signs you know and the uh will of fortune being here um is just to let you know that that is um rolling going with it and rolling with it so they're willing to be the same that you were you know to to be the same that you want to reach a crossroads to uh, have some understanding and to really see female friend enters your life a female romantic interest a woman will assist you a woman plays a key role because they realize that you play a key role in their life and they're willing to relocate a change in the home moving to a new location plans to relocate and re relocating for work so again i'm ready to embrace the changes that um will take place if i date you so they're willing to make changes happiness feel happy about your life and incident that made you happy a smoother ride through life feeling on top of the world so that could be where the excitement is coming in at again take what resonates leave what doesn't if this isn't for you it's not for you if this hasn't happened come to this reading down the line but again this person is willing to um you know uh, understand that they were the problem and so there you have it let's pull from the crystal deck the chrome diopside um and uh be impeccable with your words speak with integrity again say what you want mean what you say but the only thing you can do is not to argue but to send strength and healing to move forward speak with integrity integrity and be impeccable with your words say only what you mean avoid using words to speak against yourself or to gossip about others Use the power of your word in the direction of truth and love. So the truth is, is that you have to send strength and healing period to this person. You love them. And if it didn't work out, it just didn't work out. But you have to be able to do this in order for you to grow, for you to forgive yourself, for you to heal. And so that's kind of how I see that. And then we have the chrome D outside. It's the heart chakra. Yeah. Sending strength and healing into integration release and growth and so that is what you did was you release this energy in order for you to grow and that's the best thing i am emotionally and physically healed and whole i am emotionally and physically healed and whole and that is what the goal is the goal is to learn from the past to to learn from the past let the past be your teacher but not to stop you from moving forward and that's how i see it now let's let this old energy go I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, dead, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.